Uh, next, we are going to discuss about the angle. Okay, what uh, angle that need to be considered in velocity triangle? So in velocity triangle, we have two basic angle that you need to understand. One is the angle showing the blade. So it uh, will show as beta, uh, as beta. So it show here. So we have a blade here. So and then you will have angle to show the blade. So the, the angle here means angle to show the the design of the in uh, the blade so we call it as the blade angle so the beta here so it is the blade angle okay so because we have inlet and outlet so we have the blade angle at inlet and at the same time, we have the blade angle at the outlet. So we have beta 1 and beta 2. So, and then you could see that the, the beta here is actually closely to the direction of the VR2 and also the VR1. So we have the VR1 here. So if you see, so this is the, the it's showing the angle of the blade. So it will, it show the location, the direction of VR1. Okay, that is the first angle. So means that the angle showing the shape of the blade. So, okay, the second uh, angle is to show the shifted angle, the, the, the shifted direction of the absolute velocity. So we have the V1 here. Okay, and this is the angle showing the how many degrees whether it is whether the absolute value at the absolute velocity the real velocity comes in in 90 degree or it shifted a little bit so it's called the angle of flow so we have flow at inlet and we have a flow at outlet so uh, we have a uh, flow angle at inlet and we also have flow angle at outlet so and then the the it is closely related to the direction of the absolute velocity so this is v1 here so and then this is v2 so i hope you could uh, understand this one because sometimes or actually uh, we we do not use beta 1 and beta 2 we, we do not use alpha and beta in our test and our final exam we uh, pro, uh, we prefer to tell student in in the uh, official official names. For example, uh, in question we will write as okay the absolute velocity comes uh, flow uh, with uh, with 40, uh, 45 degree. So means that from that sentence you need to understand that the angle here is forty five degree. So, and then we could say that, okay, the blade uh, at inlet has angle of 36 degree. So, means that ang angle at inlet here is 36 degree. So, we are not using alpha 1, beta 1 because we don't want students just to remember the symbol without knowing the real uh, names of that one and without knowing the, the real relationship of that angle. Okay, please be careful about this. Okay. So because in other textbooks, they will not use alpha and beta. Sometimes they are using theta 1, theta 2, theta inlet, theta outlet. So it's different uh, from textbooks. So it means that uh, you need to understand the real meaning of that uh, angle. Okay, now uh, as, uh, as, the, as notes, okay, I will show you this one. So we have the U1 here. You have U1 as the tangential velocity of impeller, means the component velocity regarding to the impeller motion. So, and then we have V1, which is the absolute velocity, means the real velocity. We could measure it, as I said previously, if we put a piece of paper, that piece of paper, if you track the direction of that paper, is actually showing the direction of V1. So, and then we have the VR1 here. Okay. 
So, and then for uh, another terms, so we have VW1. So, we call it as a world velocity. So, it's reflect the resistance of uh, that occur. So, and then we have VF1 means the radial flow velocity. So, it's reflect the ideal condition. Okay, so the ideal. And then we have the beta one, so it is the inlet blade angle. So you could uh, see this uh, to the from the image here. So might be it is uh, uh, easy for you to understand. Okay. So and then, so what is the relation of this one? So we have u one equal to r one omega. So this is actually okay. We are talking about u here. So the velocity of u here is in meter per second. However, the rotation of this blade is actually in radian per second. So that's why uh, I think you, you already know the relationship between the linear and the rotational speed can be written as u equal to r omega. That's why in this uh, notes, so for u1, so it is equal to r1 times omega and for r1 here okay it must uh, refer to the uh, distance from the center point here to the center of this line so mean the center of uh, until the the cent the line of inlet so this is the r1 so as show here and this is the r2 so when if you want to calculate for u2 so you must use the r2 times omega Okay, bear in mind, bear in mind, the rotational speed didn't have inlet and outlet value. So mean there are no W1, there are no omega 2 because rotational speed, there are no rotational speed at inlet and rotational speed at outlet. So the RPM of the system is remain constant. So mean the RPM for inlet is equal to the RPM for the outlet. Okay, please. Uh, understand about this okay this is the uh, the outlet so you we have u2 is equal to r2 omega and then the v2 is the absolute velocity the vr2 is the relative uh, velocity to impeller blade so we have a v2 we have v flow 2 and we also we uh, have beta 2 and about this equation so from where we could derive this equation, okay, it can be simply derived from the velocity triangle. Okay, let's say uh, we have a blade here. So we have the V2 here. So we have the VR2 here. We have the U2 here. So And then we have the VF2 here. So we have the V2 here. So from this tr velocity triangle, we could say that vr2 here okay vr2 here is actually the v2 minus u2 okay this is not a normal plus and minus so this is a vector so i i thought you already learned about vector so from here we could say that v2 is actually the combination of vr2 plus u2 so and then if we want to get the vr2 here so we could write as v2 minus u2 okay please be careful about this because we are uh, uh we are explaining about velocity vector so we are talking about vector not not just uh, a simple uh, plus minus calculation okay so and then i hope uh i hope you could uh make some revision in our our textbook in our porter textbooks because uh in our porter textbook they are using slightly different symbol like this one okay so I, it is okay whether you want to use what i teach you just now or you just use this uh symbol okay because uh it quite surprised when uh, the porter textbooks uh give this uh symbol because it is not common for okay so it is okay okay but uh, what you need to do is you need to make sure that if you want to use symbol from uh, porter textbooks please use this one and if you want to use why i teach you just now it is okay the answer is still the same the idea is correct 
Okay, so for our portal textbook, so it's write a capital V1 here as the absolute velocity. So, and then you will have a small V here to show the relative to the blade, velocity relative to the blade, and the small u here to show the tangential velocity. So, I mean, the, the component velocity showing the, uh, the, the effect or the rotational uh, speed of your impeller. And then we have a VR here. So VR here is, uh, we have VT. So T here is for turbulent, actually. Okay, we have a VT showing the resistance. So I use V wall. And we have VN here showing the normal velocity. So it's reflect the ideal condition or uh, the, the flow velocity in the, in the system. So it is okay for you, but it is an uh, advantage for you to know the symbol from the potter and the symbol that we learned uh, just now. So you, you may get this from textbooks or you could uh, print uh, my video after this 